Hey, folks. I'm Tim, the dad. In this video, what yep. I'm going to do is, you see this microwave? It's probably a 1993 model. I bet you it came with this RV when it was brand new. Yeah. It's had its... Oh, goodness. It's had its fair share of use. Um, I think it's time I rip that sucker out of there. What do y'all think? Full-time RV life with real full-time RV folks. So, you say you want to know what, what, what I'm going to put in there? Why am I going to rip it out? Because, well, our air fryer went out. But that's a microwave. Yeah, but our air fryer went out. But that's a microwave. Yeah, but our air fryer went out. And so we're going to go back in with this go ins, microwave, air fryer, uh, convection, all in one. Save space, time, money, energy, and make some good food. Cook them up, cook them up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that. That thing's had so many years of microwaving on it. Look at that. Yes. Look, look, did, you, did you get back in there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's time. Isn't it? Okay, so I got them out. And this thing should just come on up out of here, but I could be mistaken. I guess that's how the door comes off. Huh. How's that bottom in there? trim off because we might be able to use that we may not <clears throat> and we gotta unplug it oh I need to take the grommet off of that hole first up there can you see in there there's four screws and a plastic grommet so I can get that cord through the hole
a plastic bag. Do not put this over your head. You may slip, 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 run out of there. So, <clears throat> this for? That's keeping buttoning it all the way up against the wall and not leaving any room for your airflow. I said button. He. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go ahead and put a floor in here because there's not one in those uh, cross beams in there were put at a specific place to fit the other microwave. <clears throat> and I'll have about an inch on each side. I mean, it's just staples. See, this has two staples holding it on, and I'll just pop, pop it off there and move it down later. See, there's no floor in it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need to put a floor in it. Okay, so we got the bottom shelf cut. Okay, so we got the bottom shelf cut. Puppies. Hey, puppies. Behave. And let's see if it fits. Of course, I already know it fits because I don't put it in there once. Trust me. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Now, we got a nice smooth surface for the new microwave to sit on. And then I've got material to put a ceiling, a shelf, and a sidewall in here. And I'll drop this down to the top of the microwave and put a couple of little pieces of trim in there to cover it up. It'll be real nice. How, how are you set to time on this thing? Now, look at, <clears throat> we got it in here. You see, I've got about an inch on each side there. So I'll put some trim there. I don't know if I'll put anything at the bottom here. I might use a piece of this old trim that they had with it, clean it up and put it in there. I'll move this down, like I said, and uh, that'll make room for a small shelf up there. You know, maybe <clears throat> whatever, bread, paper plates, I don't know, something. Yeah. <clears throat> hey folks, we're back, day two of the microwave upgrade in an RV or RV microwave upgrade. Okay, so on this side we're gonna have exposed walls. So I'm putting a little piece of wall up there. This board will come down. I've already got it marked and bring it down. We're gonna put a shelf in up top, microwave in here, a little bit of trim in the sides. It's gonna look good. Trust me.
So you got a screw in the back like that and then staples to hold it so you get the screw in there. Uh. So what I'm doing is making a lip for the inside of my shelf to sit on. This little lip will be fine because this vent screws on there and as you can see where they had it before the screw holes were barely missing it so I'll use longer screws and go back into this this back piece now to hold that tighter. So the old bracket that was in here was about this, this much wider. I went ahead and cut it down because this one would hit the feet and not quite fit far enough back. But the way I cut it down now, that'll fit right up in there. And then this will still give it uh, something to keep from, from just sliding out. 
because once you get you can lift it up to get it in here i think with that lip on there i don't know i might have to cut that lip off but you should be able to lift it up enough to get it in here and then when you bolt this on yeah you don't have enough with and then when you bolt this on that'll hold the top down from being able to come up so the feet will hold it in there because i don't have a way this is a countertop microwave and i don't have brackets or anything to bolt it in with so you know you do what you can uh i guess i gotta take that back off and get these in there first so having made a couple other cuts we're back and continuing our rv microwave upgrade I decided not to put the ceiling in there because I'd lose another couple of inches if I put a ceiling that covered up those wires and came all the way up front and uh, you know I really don't care I'll put a little piece of trim molding up in there to cover that up and paint it and you know, but hey, it looks pretty good. At some point, see, I'll take that down yet. Um, I'll end up getting uh, getting somebody. Hey, you know somebody makes cabinets. If you can make my cabinet to make a, a door here that I can put with hinges on it, hinge here that'll lift up. Um, like these do, if you can make me a door like that, shoot me a message, hit me up, I'll send you the measurements, and I'll be happy to pay you for it. So, holla at me. Okay, 
So I got my little trim pieces on there. See here? So there ain't gonna be no gaps in the sides. I got my bottom trim piece on here. I'll lift right up over there. And it'll sit right about there. Okay. Right there. Okay. It's good. And now we'll put a rent on up here. We'll be perfect. So let's do that. What do you guys think? Hey, think? Thumbs up or what? Let me see that camera. Hey, look at there. Look at that. Huh? Now this is the Galans air fry microwave. Look at that, it does bake, air fry, roast, micro convection, micro and convection, auto cook. Oh, well it does popcorn. I think every microwave since they was invented did popcorn, didn't it? Auto reheat, defrost, all that good stuff. It's got a rotisserie tray that goes in here. Um, the one we pulled out of here didn't have a rotisserie tray. It just had a flat tray that didn't rotisserie. So. Okay. I was just informed that it's called a turntable. So, with that note, like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. Hope this video helped you make the decision to change out your RV microwave and upgrade today. Later. I guess. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.